Well, I forced myself to watch Doris's conference speech yesterday. Well, actually, most of it. It was so unbearable, I hardly go with it. Uh, but uh, it was interesting, the response she got. It was uh, got 10 out of 10 for style, presentation, uh, and even one well-known member of uh, Brexiteer, member of the Conservative Party, actually said, fabulous. She put it down as fabulous. Uh, and I thought, uh, my gosh, uh, that's quite extraordinary. Although she did have the social courage to mount the platform dancing, something I wouldn't have dared do, uh, and I can dance. Uh, so uh, that was pretty impressive. And uh, I suppose it could have been worse, couldn't it, really? Uh, she could have danced naked. Uh, that might have taken uh, a little bit of uh, spotlight uh, off the lack of content. So for those of you who think it was a jolly good speech, and there are plenty of you, and there are plenty of political journalists who think it was good, um, perhaps I can run a few things past you. I made a few notes. Were you impressed with her uh, promise of tax reform, uh, of radical tax reform? Did that take anywhere with you? Uh, 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 did she talk about um, family values? She's a Conservative Prime Minister. Did she talk about getting back and supporting family values? Uh, and perhaps uh, with uh, special attraction, tax uh, attack, attraction uh, for families, for traditional families. Uh, did we hear any support for Christians? It is a Christian country. I know we don't all go to church, but it is a Christian country. We've heard absolutely plenty about her love of Sharia law uh, and various other things, but it didn't sound there very much there for Christians. Uh, she paid tribute to our military. Well, yes, well done. Thank you for paying tribute to our military, uh, which uh, her administration has actually halved in the last seven years, but there we are. Uh, we have now had the smallest army we've had for 150 years, but well down the military, that went down with the punters. Um, what about small business uh, rate relief? Anything there at all? We all know that small businesses are absolutely struggling at the moment, and particularly retail uh, businesses, uh, under enormous pressure through business rates. Did we hear anything about that? No, we didn't hear anything about that. Shouldn't mention any of that. Uh, we heard that she might, he hinted a little bit, that there might be no more austerity. But of course there's been no austerity. The national debt's doubled in the last seven years. She's still squandering money on high-speed rail. Quango's £180 billion a year. And she's promising to give the EU uh, another £36 billion just for the pleasure of them selling us our goods. So uh, she didn't mention pensioners, did she? Do you know that uh, British pensioners uh, get... Smaller pensions almost every other country in Western Europe, while she spends £1 billion a month on unaudited foreign aid. No, she didn't talk about that. Uh, did she apologise for her time when she was at the Home Office for getting rid of Stop and Search, uh, which has now seen an explosion in knife crime in some of the big cities? Did she apologise for that? I didn't hear it. Maybe you did, because this speech was fabulous. So... Uh, what else did she do? Did she talk about the post-Brexit global vision? Did she talk about what wonderful things can be done when we actually regain the free world, if we gain the free world? No, she didn't. No, she didn't, did she? Uh, because she's no more intention of taking us out of the European Union than fly to the bloody moon, actually. And everybody knows it. But we all clapped. We all flapped our fins together because she's the Tory Prime Minister. It was the Tory conference. And so we're just going to put reality perfectly aside. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, if that was a fabulous speech for you, if you're a political journalist and you think it was good, frankly, you can stick it where the sun don't shine.